Dear students, so through this video, what I'm intending is to introduce you to an app which is going to be very helpful when you are trying to do structural analysis, when you are trying to learn structural analysis. That app is shown here. This is that particular app that is SWFEA 2D Frame. So this is a very effective app. I will show you how to work with it. So this is a very simple app with a very good interface. So I've been searching different apps and I found this as the most effective one. So this is a basic screen what we are having. So these are the different options. If you click on that, you are going to see the different options. Okay. And similarly, uh, this is for um, creating nodes. That means if we, if we have a joint, we want to use some joints like join A, join B and join C. If you want to specify that, you can use this tool. Okay, that is will uh, give you the nodes and this one is for selecting the members so a click on that will give you what type of element you want frame element truss element so the advantage of this app is you can analyze trusses beams and frames using this app okay so if you want to analyze a truss you can uh, select the nodes or the joints and then you can uh, define the members as truss members if you want to have a beam or a frame you can use the frame element option similarly <clears throat> this is the next one which is basically for giving the support condition whether it should be fixed support or a hinge so depending upon that you can use that option and this is the load option a click on it will tell you what type of load you want a point load okay a moment a udl a uvl or a support displacement about this we'll talk in detail in the further lectures then there is this final this one which will give you the different plots the axial force diagram shear force diagram bending moment diagram you are already very familiar with the bending moment diagram and shear force diagram the slopes at different point the deflection and also the free body diagram of each member so this is the basic interface of the app so i will give you a simple example of how to model a beam and get the different plots for it that is bmd and sft so what you can do is first we want the beam okay so in here you can see that there is a uh, system like a number system so this is basically a just like a graph paper 0 10 so you if you want you can increase the scale okay so that the values will be now the scale interval is 5 you can even zoom in and it goes on reducing so we can have any range so depending upon the length of the beam similarly that is also available here also in the length direction x direction and y direction okay this is the x direction this is the y direction so that's how we do this now when i want to construct a beam i'm starting with a very simple beam so let's consider a cantilever beam so i need two joints okay so i'm selecting the tool and considering the origin as the first point so basically basically zero zero x and y zero then i want to construct a beam having length say uh say eight meters okay so i will be selecting the node tool again and i'll be clicking on the eight meter length okay this eight meter length i'm getting it from here okay I have enlarged the screen that's why you we need to scroll and out if it is in the normal view what you are going to find is uh, screen like this okay so you can see here 8 and you can plot it so for the better view I'm just putting it to the uh, best fit or say scale original okay. so I have the <coughs> two joints joint A and joint B say and I want to have the member now so I'll be using the member selection i'm adding a frame element because i want is a beam beam and frame will be using the same thing then you want to uh, make this join as a fixed support okay so to do that you just use the support option and in it you have the fixed support so select that and click on the point o or point zero so the node zero now is a fixed support so now what we have is a cantilever beam fixed at one end free at the other end now say if i want to apply a point load at the free end okay i want to apply a point load here vertically down so i'll be using the load option which is this one i'm selecting that what i want is a point load 
so there is nodal point load and point load okay nodal point load can be used if you want to apply the point load at the node here this zero and one are the two nodes what we are having so if you want to apply a node a load at this particular point or this node then we can use the nodal point load if you want to apply a load in between this members if you want to apply a load in the center of this beam then we can go for this option okay both will work so in this case i'm trying the point load option because that's the one we use when we are dealing with beams when we are dealing with trusses we'll be using more this nodal point load okay so i'm using the point load option so now i just need to click on the beam okay because i have given the no, uh, point load not the nodal if the nodal point load then i need to click on the node itself now it will ask me the details of the load so what should be the magnitude of the load say i'm putting it as say 20 kilo newton the unit is also shown in the top then they are asking about the angle if you want to give an inclined load you can play with this angle value 90 degree is actually the vertical load perfectly vertical if you want it to have an inclined value you can either use this option or you can enter the value now i'm trying with the perfectly vertical load so i'm giving it as 90 and this one is asking about where the point load should be acting okay so there is two options in the top you have absolute and relative so if you're using absolute okay it shows the exact length that is 4.8 meter and all these things if you're going for relative then the scale is from 0 to 1 so the whole length will be considered as 1 and if you're telling that the load should be at 0.5 which will be basically the center okay or else you can use this if you know the exact location so currently I want the beam I want the load to be at the free end that is on the right extreme so I'm choosing this and I'm saving it now you can see that load has been applied having magnitude 20 kilonewton and what you have is the bending moment diagram okay this orange color diagram this orange color diagram basically represents the bending moment diagram and this green and blue are the reactions okay so by applying a point load here at the fixed support i'm going to get a vertical reaction having magnitude 20 kilonewton and a moment in this anti-clockwise direction having a value 160 kilonewton per meter okay so it, uh, by default it shows the bmd now if i want to see the shear force diagram so just use this option okay, and change it to shear force diagram now what you're having is the shear force diagram now if you want to have some other say i want to see the displacement how this particular beam is deflecting because of the applied load so again use the same option you have deflection and deflection scale deflection scale will be giving you the better view of the deflection so once you choose that it is going to show you how this beam will be deflecting okay. we normally used to predict it so you can check whether the predictions are right or wrong so it will give the exact value fine so this is the basic uh, figure now let's try if i want to have a propped cantilever so what i will do so for a propped cantilever if, if you want to edit something for example i want to convert this into a propped cantilever so i want to remove that 20 kilo newton load so just click on that okay click on the 20 kilo newton and you have options on the top edit or delete if you want to edit it click on that and again the load screen will come you can change the load say if i want to make it as 10 10 kilo newton and i want it in an inclined fashion so i will change the angle and when i save it now i have an inclined load having magnitude 10 kilo newton and that moment itself you can see that it has changed the new values are getting showed okay so similarly if you want to see the new bending moment diagram this is the new bending moment diagram new shear force diagram so everything will be happening in an instant and again i'm going back okay and now what i'm trying is i'm going to remove this and i'm going to convert it into a prop cantilever so i'm basically using this option to delete that load now i want to convert the node one to a roller right so select the support condition roller support click on node one and it will ask about the angle that uh, whether you want the roller to be perfectly vertical or an inclined roller okay we normally go for the perfectly vertical roller so add we have the roller now say we want a udl okay a udl on top of this prop cantilever select the distributed option okay 
load distributed so it will okay it one second let me check I'm selecting the distributed option now I need to decide on which member I'm going to apply the load so when we are talking about distributed load which is basically like a UDL or UVL I want to select the member so this is the member on which I want to select the UDL so there are a lot of options in here okay this lot of options make this program or this app highly flexible so whether you want a UDL having uh, UDL on the full length of the beam if that is the case it is very easy just click on these two you just need to give one value if you don't want the UDL for the entire length so you can just uncheck this and you can set the distance here for how much distance this is the end and this is the start so where the UDL should start where the UDL should end okay now you can see here if I do this this UDL is only for a particular span which I specified now I want to edit that so I, I'll click on the load I'm going for edit I want it to be a UDL over the full length okay and the magnitude I can change it let it be uh, say 2 kN per meter okay and it's for the full length that's what I have selected now you can see that there's a UDL over the full length and the corresponding reaction that is 10 and 16 6 those are the reactions say RA and MA and RB the BMD is also shown you may be finding this BMD a bit confusing okay the BMD there are two types of BMD BMD can be drawn either to the tension side or to the compression compression side the BMD when you are plotting sagging on the top okay that's I think that's a normal convention you are using when you're plotting sagging on top you will be getting a diagram like this okay but if you are put plotting sagging in the bottom the diagram will be exactly the mirror image of this so that can also be done using this particular app itself so you can go to the settings okay in the settings um, <clears throat> there is a first option bending moment diagram okay whether you want it on the tension side or the compression phase if you are uh, plotting the diagram with com uh, sagging on top it is the compression phase if you want sagging on bottom it is the tension phase okay now I'm selecting the tension phase and let's see what happened to the BMD the BMD just got reversed okay so this is the basic uh, way of using this app now say if I want one more uh, support at the center okay this is the point where students normally get confused or the app users normally get confused if you want to introduce a support here the one thing what you want to do is you want to split this beam also so I'm trying it say I want uh, one node at the center so I'm uh, selecting the node picker okay and I'm clicking on the center now I have a node at the center and say I'm uh, putting it as a roller support okay now I got it as a roller support but there is no change for the BMD which basically means that the effect has got not reflected it is because this one beam if you're going for the deflection diagram you will clearly know what is happening sorry not free body diagram deflection diagram you can see that this support is not at all considered even though I introduce this support the effect is not though the beam is deflecting as if the support is not at all present this is because unless you split this beam this won't be considered as this joint so what I want to do now is to split this beam okay I'm selecting the beam and I'm basically deleting it and I'm trying one more time so now I'm going to select one beam as this the second beam as this and I'm going to apply a distributed load a 10 kN meter for the full length on member one and again distributed load on the second member full length 10 kN now I have the effect of this okay so you should be very careful when you're introducing a node and a support in between you should be splitting the beam unless this app won't accept it okay there's a the basic settings of this app so we have the uh, shear for deflection diagram we can have the bending moment diagram we can have the shear force diagram so I can even have an enlarged view so that all things work so this is an app which is going to be very helpful and one more thing what we want is the EI properties so we have talked about length we have talked about UDL if you want to introduce a moment there is an option for moment 
just click on the point okay uh, say it is uh, having magnitude 5 just introduce that you have the moment okay and if you want to have it in the clockwise direction just change it you have it in the clockwise direction and everything is getting changed at the instant when I'm introducing the things so this is a very effective tool now the one thing what we want to know is can we change the EI value in most of the problems we are having EI value for one segment two EI value for another segment 0.5 EI for a different segment so how to take care of that that also there is an option for that also if I select a member say I'm selecting the second member now there is an option which basically is like an I section it talks about the EI values okay this is the settings that I have prepared EI and 2 EI if it's in your case it's going to be default so you want to have more sections cross sections for that what you can do is you can go to the settings okay, which is this and in this you are going to have this option of sections use that okay you can add new section when you click that the name will be default change it to say EI or 2 EI and this is the default case so if you want to have uh, say if you are calling this as EI just change it EI and save it okay so create and if you want two EI so what are the what is the basic thing that you're doing you are multiplying EI with two so the easiest way you can have is by changing this value currently it is one point so I am saving the first one as say EI okay just change the name and create uh, this is showing an error because I already have that so I am putting it like uh, two one I will just delete these two so that the string will be exactly like what you're having and taking the section now I want EI so I'm naming this new section as EI and I'm just creating it so I have EI now I want two EI so I will just name change the name I'll put it as two EI and I need to increase i by 2 so the best option is just change this 1 to 2 so I'm multiplying basically 2i so e into 2i is going to be 2ei save it you have the 2 now if I want the first member to be having a property uh, say 2ei just select the beam just select the beam use this option make it as 2ei so you can see some change has happened because depending upon the flexural rigidity the bending moment values will change okay so EI now this first member I want it to have EI so I'm placing it as EI oh I got that now I want it to change to, to EI so I change it and I have the new values so it is that much easy okay so when after uh, doing all this I'm having some confusion what is the value that I have given what was it whether it is EI or 2 EI to get that just click on the member and on the left hand side it will show the details okay uh, what is i value what is the self weight all those things self weight is not considered in general so length is there everything is there okay you have the information and uh, <clears throat> so one option is if you want the bmd you can just take a screenshot and just rotating the screen so that the screenshot will be easier so now i can have a screenshot this and you can use it for your uh, reference future references so these and you can uh, generate a report zoom extend so whenever you are having some problem like you zoom to a scale where you are not able to find the diagram at all just use this zoom extends it will show the exact diagram in the uh, screen itself okay so this is a very wonderful app which will be very helpful in your future course also because this is just the beginning now we are going to have SA2 and SA3 where you are going to deal with indeterminate structures. So the prediction of the displaced profile, bending moment diagram, shear force diagram, axial force diagram, all those can be easily handled using this. And what if you want a frame? Okay, I'm going to make this one itself as a frame. So what I'm doing is I'm just editing this node. I selected the node and I'm editing. So currently it is Y is 0. So if I make this Y as a 3, now what I have is a frame so the members are no longer in the X axis alone it is in the Y axis also now what I am seeing on the screen is a frame so these type of problems can also be handled very easily using this app okay, this is 
very effective app for reference okay thank you